Hi, this is Kelly Nightlinger with Wild Woman Outdoors. I'm going to go over some of the things I carry in my survival kit. And also, in my last video, I didn't show you what it looks like inside of the bottle stove. So I'll see if I can tilt it there so you can see the bottle stove. Oh, and see it went out because it didn't. The holes got plugged with uh, alcohol. But maybe you got a little glimpse of what it looks like down inside there. So this next uh, video, I'll try to talk really quickly because I've got quite a few things in here that are important to go over. And I'll go over what I have in my survival kit. Um, you can pick any kind of container that works for you, and for me, I like this because it has a um, water-resistant outer shell. Um, inside of it, I carry um, a cutting tool, which um, actually I've got that on my belt, and combustion device, def different ways to um, create a fire, and I usually carry multiple ways because that way, if one measure doesn't work properly, then you've always got a fail-safe with you such as a lighter, um, flint and steel, uh, ferro rod, um, matches, a lot of different ignition mechanisms. And also I've got a covering, which is my survival tarp, and a container, which I have right here to boil water or to cook food, natural cordage, or actually, check that, cordage, um, cotton bandana, which is my cotton survival bandana. I roll it up real tight. You can use this for tons of things, and I'll cover that in a few minutes compass, candling device, sail uh, needle, and cargo tape. Well, I'm not going to have time to go over every single item today because this video will be too long, but I'll just go over a couple things. You can use this um, bandana. Obviously, you can wear it on your head to protect yourself from the sun. You can use it for first aid to make a tourniquet or for if you have a wound that you need to cover. You can also use it um, if you are familiar with medicinal plants. You can use it to make a spit poultice and put it on your head if you have headaches like I often do I can use goldenrod and make a split poultice spit poultice to alleviate my headache in this wilderness um, you can use it as a water filter you could use it to gather things you could use it like to collect um, wild edibles that you're gathering um, a lot of different uses I'm sure I could think of a hundred more I also carry quick quick clot if you're not familiar with this the military started using this quite a while ago and I've been using it for about the last eight years I believe and quick clot is a uh, uh, temporary traumatic wound treatment. If you have a fatality check, a fit, fatal type wound on your, let's say your uh, carotid artery or something like that, you can put this on. It's in powder form and once the blood hits it, then it will um, coagulate and it'll stop the blood. These are some uh, wet fire, quick fire, sure fire type uh, items that I carry. Um, Basically, you can start fire in the rain, the snow, whatever temperatures you're in. This particular product is wet fire, and I have sure fire also. A lot of different products that have that. Here's a little bit of snaring wire. You always want to have a way to snare and to trap and snare animals for food. This is a little fishing kit. Um, it has fishing line in there, hooks, anything you'd need, swivels. Great little fishing kit. I put it inside a, of a prescription pill bottle with my name on it. First of all, it's a waterproof bottle. Makes a nice bottle uh, bobber for fishing. Also, if there's an emergency, I can use this. People will have my name. They'll have my doctor. They'll know a way to get a hold of me. My emergency contact. They'll be able to contact my doctor and um, know that I'm in need of help. I could also put a little note inside there. This is bank line. It works very well for a lot of different uses, such as making traps, making snares. Uh, making spring uh, wires to, you know, to spring down a branch to make a, a mechanism to trap animals. You can also make gill net out of it. You can use it as fishing line. Just a little piece of tin foil. You can use that as a water container. You can use it for food. You can use it as a fire reflector. Um, this little kit here is pretty handy. Um, it has a lot of different items in it. It has a whistle. It has another fire starter. More bank line. Uh, a little compass in there. Sail needle. A uh, little writing utensil in it, paper clips, they can be used for different things, some regular line in it. Um, actually, it also has a Fresnel lens and an emergency blanket in there, which I'll open up and show you real quick if you don't know what a Fresnel lens is. Another way that you can make a fire. I've got some of my business cards in here. has my emergency contact information on the back. Wild Woman Outdoors on the front with my, my phone number, my address, and my website so they can check everything out if, if they find this I can use this as a, a means for notification it has my blood type and what I'm allergic to and also this Fresnel lens is basically a magnifying lens that you can use to start a fire in an emergency and it actually works pretty well on a sunny day and like I said before there's a little um, reflector in there also and a um, 
a couple I have a couple different um, shelter type things with me also that I'll discuss here in a second. This is kind of a novelty, um, kind of an extra, but I like them. I travel a lot in the winter time, and if you've never used one of these, they have hand warmers. They also have body warmers, and they last up to seven hours. So there's two of them in this packet. Um, I've, they've come in real handy. This is Katagin. It's a Ojibwe uh, um, word for, it's also known as Chaga by some people. You can use it as a fire starter and you can also transport fire with this very easily. It um, has an ember that will last for many, many hours and you can transport fire. This guy here, he's one of my favorites. Um, this is a uh, Coglin's Sierra saw. It's a little tiny saw. I can cut lots of wood with this thing. It's so small and compact, weighs almost nothing. Um, this is my Bluette stove. Really cool little stove here. And it has some Bluette uh, fire starting material right in there. You flip it over like this. You put the, the a little fire starter on the bottom. Boom, you've got a stove ready to go. Fits in this nice little compact container. I've also got my compass in here. Um, I have a mirrored compass. Looks like my alcohol stove is creating a, a huge inferno here, which I don't mind because my fingers are cold. So cold out here today. This is my dog Juno in the background. I don't know if you can see her. Yep. I carry a Silva uh, compass and my fingers are kind of numb. You lose your fine motor skills. It's a mirrored compass, which is better for navigation. Um, I have actually a, a couple of different, a um, couple of different lighters and flint and steel in here. Boy, I've got so much stuff. I know I'm going to run out of time. Um, I also carry some candles. I just buy the, the cheap ones. They last for a long time. Nice little um, area that they sit on. I've got some waterproof matches, some stormproof matches. I've got some fire tinder here, some toilet paper, which um, you can make your own toilet paper in nature, like even in the wintertime, like by using um, cattails, the dried thing at the top. You can use those for toilet paper, but I like to have a little bit with me. It's a little bit of a luxury. I also have... Um, this, which is for um, a slingshot. You can just make your own slingshot really easily. Tie off the ends with bank line. Boom, you've got a weapon. You can kill some animals for food. And let's see. That's pretty much it on the inside. This is my survival tarp. I roll it up really nice and neat. And this right here is one of my favorites. Um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to run out of time here. So I'm going to try to discuss a few other things as I'm pulling this out. Um, over here, I actually have taken a uh, old Altoids tin, and I've made some. Let me see if I can move that a little bit. Um, I've made some char cloth. You, you use all 100% cotton. You poke a little hole in, in the top. Boom! You got some char cloth. But what I've done is I put that in a old uh, BlackBerry holder from my, from one of my old Blackberries. I also have another fire starter here. But this guy here is pretty cool. Um, you might have to back up to see this. This you can use as a reusable emergency sleeping bag. I actually used this on a trip in Montana and my friends called me a baked potato. But that's okay, I didn't mind that they were teasing me because it worked. It kept me really warm. And you can actually get inside of it. You can wear it as kind of a blanket. Or you can wear it. You could actually walk around with this on it, on you. It'll keep you warm. And there's also some armholes. Without taking up too much time, there's some Velcro armholes that you can put your arms out and wear it like a coat. So I really like that because it's reusable. It's not like the old-fashioned kind. The newest ones from Adventure Medical Kits are breathable, so you don't sweat inside of them. So anyways, there's a few, few little snippets. This is another version of that as well, but it's much smaller. And uh, I got to get going because it's time to go on, on an adventure. So get outdoors and go wild.